A nice experience is spotting a unique fish in the wild or in an aquarium. These unique fishes serve as a reminder of the limitless ingenuity nature is capable of. We have gathered what many people think is the rarest fish in the ocean for this list, and we have included others that are found in springs, rivers, and other places as well. Hello and welcome everyone to World's Best. Here we try to give the best virtual experience of different amazing things through our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top 10 most unique and rare fishes in the world. Just sit back and stick to the end of the video to get all the necessary details about it. Major decreases in the population of these fishes have occasionally been brought about over fishing and other human activities. Because they inhabit very small restricted geographic areas or the depths of the ocean, others are rarely observed. Why are these fishes so uncommon? And are they going extinct? Or, or can one eat them? Finding these fishes is an unusual occurrence because not many people visit these areas. We are aware of the importance of preserving these uncommon and frequently extinct fish species. All of these animals are essential components of their ecosystems, according to conservationists. The satisfaction of caring for and nurturing a rare, beautiful fish is a rewarding hobby for aquarium owners. We all know that these unique species will recover and even thrive in healthy oceans, rivers, and lakes. Let us start with number one, ornate sleeper ray. This ray family member is bright blue with white spots, and it has a unique form that lends it its name. The Eastern Cape and adjacent South African coasts are home to the ornate sleeping ray, Electrolux Addison. In 1984, this fish was originally recognized as a brand new ray species. Only a few sightings have ever been reported, and there are none in captivity. These factors make this fish one of the rarest in the ocean. Number 2. Devil's Hole Pupfish The habitat of this iridescent bluefish is rare. It is a resident of Death Valley National Park in Nevada's Devil's Hole, a geological structure. According to scientists, this stunning, unusual fish has been residing in the structure for 10,000 to 20,000 years. It dwells in tiny water pockets that form the rock. According to wildlife specialists, there are about 200 pupfish left. Number 3. Eel The extinction of eels is a serious concern. Despite the fact that various national and international laws protect these species, their populations are constantly declining. Eels have a remarkable lifespan of 100 years in the wild and can grow to a length of 13 feet. Eels are fighting for their lives in the face of habitat contamination, oil pumping stations, and other humans' interventions despite fishing bans in many nations. Number 4. American Paddlefish The Polyodon spathula, often known as the American Paddlefish, has a long snout that resembles a paddle. The Mississippi River Basin in the United States is home to this peculiar fish. It is a simple fish that feeds by swimming through the water and catching whatever it can with its mouth open. Identification is simple because of its spatula-shaped snout. If caught, offenders risk paying very high fines. It was once a significant commercial fish, but because of population reduction, legislation at the state and federal levels now protects it. Number 5. Peppermint Angelfish this tiny angelfish has white stripe on its brilliant orange body. For aquarium owners who appreciate its stunning aesthetics and have the money to buy one, it is an interesting, unusual fish. It is extremely uncommon to witness this fish in the wild due to its shallow water habitat and small size. Centropygy boil, often known as the peppermint angelfish, can sell for up to $20,000. A skilled aquarium keeper must provide advanced care for this diminutive angelfish. A peppermint angelfish worth $30,000 was given to the Waikiki Aquarium in Hawaii in 2012. Number 6. Twite Shad A species of fish belonging to the Clopidae family is known as a weight shad or twite shad. It is an anadromous fish that lives in the sea but migrates into fresh water to reproduce and it may be found in the eastern Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. Although it has a row of 6 to 10 prominent dots on its silvery flanks, it looks similar to an Atlantic herring elsewhere. When they are three or older, they reach maturity and travel to estuaries before swimming up rivers to breed. Because of overfishing, pollution, and habitat damage, populations of these fish have decreased. The Bern Convention's Appendix 3rd and the European Community Habitats Directive Appendices 2nd and 5th both address the conservation of this species. The United Kingdom's rivers and canals are home to this fish. It belongs to the herring family. It is a saltwater fish, yet it spawns in freshwater rivers. The twite shad, which is protected by international law, is included as a priority species in the United Kingdom Biodiversity Action Plan. If you catch shades of eels while fishing in the UK, 
you have to toss them back. Number 7. Neptune Grouper The preopercle is rounded, and the edges have fine serrations. The ventral margin serrations, however, are a little less fine, giving it a more irregular appearance. The anal fin has 3 spines and 9 soft rays, compared to the dorsal fin's 9 spine and 14 soft rays. The caudal fin was rounded. This species has a reddish-orange overall color and 7 broad lemon-yellow bars that extend to the dorsal fin on its upper flanks. 3 broad yellow irregular oblique stripes on its head. For aquarium owners looking to add a spectacular specimen to their collection, this exquisite uncommon fish is a premium option. Ocean depths are home to the Neptune grouper. This stunning fish may reach a length of 3 inches and has stripes of silvery blue and yellow. It is a genuinely unique fish because of its vibrant hues and supple movements. Finding a Neptune grouper for sale is quite challenging, more than $4,500 for a single fish. Number 8. Red Handfish The red coloration and little flattened wart-like protuberances that cover its body set the red handfish apart. There are two color variations, a bread right morph with red coloring on both the body and fins, and white fin edges separated by a black line, and a model morph with a pink body covered in numerous red patches and translucent pink fins displaying some brilliant red patches. Their typical standard length is 61.4 millimeters, and their typical overall length is 80.1 millimeters. They have big, developed pectoral fins, the same as other handfish, that they used to crawl across the ocean floor. Because of its two appendages, which resemble human hands, the red handfish got its name. The fish is small in size, with reddish scales and a broad, amusing appearing face. Conservationists believe that this odd fish was extinct because it was so uncommon, but a diver found a small colony of handfish off the coast of Australia. The red handfish is one of the rarest fish in the world, with perhaps fewer than a hundred of them still living. Number 9. Bluefin Tuna The bluefin tuna has a maximum diving depth of 3,000 feet. This massive, swift fish hunts herring, mackerel, and other ocean species with ferocity. The sixth most endangered species in the world is the bluefin tuna. Not just fish, but all species are included in that. The population of this formerly prolific ocean fish has been greatly reduced by the overfishing and habitat degradation. Better regulation of commercial tuna fishing has been the focus of conservation initiatives. Number 10. Tequila Splitfin Only one habitat exists for this little fish. The Tuchitlan River in Mexico contains a little pool where the tequila splitfin resides. Conservationists believe this fish to be extinct, like some of the other fish on our list. Like some of the other fish on our list but a small group was discovered in 2005. Since then, population growth has been aided by coordinated conservation efforts and captive breeding. It is still a very uncommon species, despite the fact that several hundred fish were restored to the pool. So what are your views on this? And can one be able to pet such fishes? With this, I would like to end this video with the hope that you liked and enjoyed it. However, stay tuned to the channel. If you like our content, make sure that you like our video. And do share your views and opinions with us in the comments section down below. Do subscribe to the channel to receive regular videos from us. And don't forget to click the bell icon to never miss an update.